Oh, welcome to Jeb's Projects. Jeb here. We're going today. We're gonna try to align an OCXO uh, right there, an oven controlled oscillator or crystal oscillator, and uh, kind of want to use that to uh, oh have an external reference for my frequency counter. We're going to be using a GPS DO, which is what I use on my uh, signal spectrum spectrum analyzer. And uh, I kind of want this one here until I get a L distribution amplifier. But for now, I need to tune this to uh, be my reference on the frequency counter. As you can see right now, it's uh, tracking nine satellites. It's been plugged in the GPS SDO for about a week now. So it ought to be really close, maybe not completely in yet, but... It ought to be better than a uh, than a hurt at this point. Should be much less than a hurt. Okay, let's see what we can do. All right now, let's uh, disconnect the GPS DO from the oscilloscope. Plug it into the spectrum analyzer, and right there it is at uh, 10 megahertz and a good solid signal. Okay, we're going to uh, take and disconnect that and. Connected to the oscilloscope channel one right over here Channel one on the oscilloscope. Let's see if we got a good strong signal Okay, now we'll go for the Jeep or the oven controlled oscillator, which We've got to let warm up and uh, It wasn't plugged in all the way and sorry about the finger in front of the lens but let's go ahead and see if I can hook this 30 dB, 30 dB attenuator in there. And uh, then we'll hook it up to the spectrum analyzer. And right now you can see it's warming up. It's uh, almost there, but that'll, that'll take a few minutes for it to warm up. And uh, it'll go beyond 10 megahertz uh, at this point. I'm going to leave this warm up for a bit. But you can see where we are coming up. Okay, now we'll take it off the spectrum analyzer, the OCXO, and hook it up to channel 2 on the oscilloscope. And okay. Now let's do an auto set. I could just turn channel 2 on. But it's triggering on channel 1. Okay, let's check 2. Go to AC. Channel 1. AC. Whoop. Channel 1. Go to AC. So we're both on that one. Whoop. Let's turn channel 1 back on. There we go. Okay, it's locked on channel 1. You can see how that's lower one is moving that's the OCXO that's on channel 2 and she's creeping right along there okay let's see if we can get those two to lock together and we come down here to the OCXO sorry for the shadow let's see if I can do this one handed this is not going to be easy okay let's see if we can get down here to the adjustment and let's turn it here. Okay, I can't slow it down. Let's see if we can speed it up by going the other direction around. Uh, whoop. And of course, I lost the lost the uh, screwdriver. Uh, let's spin it around here. Okay, see how that's speeding up? That means we're fur getting further away from 10 megahertz. We're going high, so we got to turn it clockwise. We were turning it counterclockwise. Now we'll turn it clockwise and see if we can get that to slow down. And we just about get there, but not quite. I'm all the way. Uh, you can hear it. You can't hear it, but the turning pot is clicking. Otherwise, it's, I don't know if you could hear that or not, but that means 
we're our justice all the way. And the temperature on the oscillator seems to be good and warm. And the more it warms up, the higher it's going to get in frequency. So even if I let it set, all it's going to do is speed up. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to take and uh, get a hold of the person that uh, I got the oscillator from. And uh, see if I can get a different one. This one's not going to work. Okay. I'll put out another video. When it when I, if I get the new one. Or if I have to repair this one. I'm hoping I don't have to repair it. So we'll catch you on the next one. And well, we didn't succeed. Laters.